Pharmaceutical company Pfizer has announced it is blocking the use of its drugs for lethal injections in the United States. The move means that all approved drug makers whose medications could be used for executions have now put them off limits. Mark George is a barrister specialises in uh, criminal and prison law, human rights and US death penalty law. He joins us live from uh, Sheffield. A uh, very good evening to you. Thanks for joining us in uh, Sky News. Um, your reaction to the news that uh, this step that Pfizer has now taken? Well, it's a very welcome announcement. Um, it does throw the death penalty in the US into renewed crisis. Uh, and I hope that those states that still have the death penalty uh, will actually take this as an opportunity to really consider whether it's time for the United States to come into the 21st century and get rid of what is a medieval and rather barbaric uh, practice. We've heard from the human rights organisations throughout today who say that this is a critical turning point in, in the history of uh, capital punishment in the United States. Is that your assessment? Yeah. Well, I, it's always difficult, I think, and perhaps a little uh, dangerous to make those sorts of assessments at a time like this. Uh, the fact is that there are some states in the US that are still very enthusiastic about uh, enforcing the death penalty. Um, so we shouldn't underestimate the determination of some states, places like Texas and Missouri and Oklahoma, to, to continue to try to find ways to carry on executions. And as you say, there are some states who are very keen to uh, at least have the power to be able to enforce the death penalty. There will be uh, some yeah. people who argue, well, uh, hang on a minute, um, why should big, big business be playing a part, be flexing its muscles, um, which will uh, affecting our legislative system. What, what's it got to do with them? Well, th these are pharmaceutical companies and they produce uh, medicines and so on because they uh, believe that they're going to be used for the benefit of, of mankind. Uh, and not surprisingly, they're not very keen on the adverse publicity from discovering that drugs they thought were being uh, uh, produced for beneficial purposes are then being used to execute people. So. Uh, they are entitled to be in, uh, in, in involved and concerned about it because it's, it does affect their own business. Capital punishment was legally affirmed in the United States in the early 1970s, so it's been going on for some time now uh, in a number of states and, um, yeah. in the United States. Do you foresee a time where capital punishment will be a thing of the past? Yes, I do. Um, it's taking a long time to eradicate, but uh, in the last uh, eight years, seven states have uh, themselves abolished the death penalty, so that now 19 states in the Union do not have the death penalty. Uh, one of the key changes that's happened in recent years is that all states now have, as the only alternative to the death penalty, uh, um, life without parole. And there's clear evidence now from uh, poll data that shows that when jurors know that, the only, know that there is an alternative of life without parole, in other words, the person will never be released, that juries are much more likely now to vote for a life sentence uh, than for death. And we have seen a huge drop in uh, new death sentences. 20 years ago, there were more than 300 a year. Last year, there were under 50. So it's quite clear that people on the ground in the United States are voting uh, to, uh, to get rid of the death penalty. So I do think it will happen. But like many of these things, it uh, takes longer than we'd hoped. Mr George, are you concerned at all that some states, say Texas for example, will just look for alternative methods of uh, executions or look for alternative uh, lethal compounds from elsewhere? Uh, very much so. The, um, the, the desire of some states to, to carry on with lethal injections has led to some very dubious practices. Uh, a number of states have passed legislation preventing even the prisoner's own lawyers from discovering what the nature of the drugs being used in the executions is. It's obviously a, a very unfortunate development because uh, the, uh, what you're seeing is uh, effectively live experimentation on human beings whilst uh, uh, those who uh, are administering the death penalty try various uh, compounds of drugs or different amounts of drugs and frankly, before they carry out the execution, they don't know what the effect of those drugs will be. OK, Mark George Barrister, thanks for joining this evening on Sky News. Pleasure. Thank you. This is Sky News, coming up.